have any advice for, for people listening to this who, who are dyslexic or think they may be dyslexic? Or have children who are. Or have children who are. Mm. It's funny, I think dyslexia is it's part of neurodivergency. So neurodivergency is, is that anything that makes you, you know, what is different to neurotypical or normal, which is mm. debatable in itself. It's a whole you know, rabbit hole to go down. But um, ADHD, dyslexia, and um, uh, autism or autism uh, spectrum disorder, it's all neurodivergency that makes you slightly, you know, makes you different. Um, and the thing is, is that it can be a lot harder, but what I was always told when I was growing up by my grandmother, she was a great educationalist, was that it's like a car on a cold morning um, where you kind of, you turn the key and it's like, never going to start, never going to start, never going to start. And you're like, oh, come on, never going to start, <laughs> never going to start. And you're frustrated. And then all of a sudden it goes, boom, and you just, and, and it just takes off. And she kept telling us this. And I remember being like 12 years old and saying to my aunt, like, I was like, I was like, uh, Aunt Midge, do you think I'll be able to get a job if I can't read? And she still comes back to this story like every Christmas. And she's like, no, no, she, she just remembers this, this utter terror of thinking like, oh God. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but the thing is that that's what happened to me. So, so I, I hit my learning mm. curve. When I went from being like unable to read to uh, vet school within about four, four or five years. So, so it, it, it happens and it can be deeply mm. frustrating. But having this difference makes you tremendously valuable in the, you know, when you get to the point of of working because you think differently. I think differently to, you know, to to lots of other people. And um I still have great holes in my learning. I'm not very good with the the history of the Tudors. Yeah. So it totally eludes me. Um but Ah, I can put you in touch with my uncle. No, 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 um... no, no. Stop, stop. No, you can't do you can't no, you can't ask him that question. <laughs> can't, carry on, Toby. Carry on, Toby. So your history on the Tudors isn't very good. Yeah, it's definitely not. Yeah, I, I think I seem to remember. I thought Queen Elizabeth. I was, I was watching the Elizabeth film, and I said to my girlfriend at the time, "I was like, oh, so when did she get married?" She's like, "Jesus Christ, Toby!" <laughs> kind of a thing. Yeah, it's the, kind the, of a the thing. Vir- virgin queen. Yeah, yeah. but and, and oh, I, I literally got to the end. It was like, oh, I thought she met Albert. She's like, no, that's different. No, that's someone else. <laughs> you know, that was Victoria. That was years later. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was like, you know, these these these, these sort of things really heads and great at pub quizzes though. So uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but anyway, um, but um, ultimately, I think it, it's hard, but you get you you get you get there in the end. But also, you have to, I think, embracing your differences in, is important because those differences can make you, you know, can make you such a free thinker, and it can be it can be amazing the stuff you come up with. And actually, thinking differently and doing something especially different, you know, if you're in business, that that's a huge advantage. You know, it's great to do things differently. And, and for me, I think the, the the one thing I would say now is that, and I think to go back to Mike's question about what would I say to myself previously is that because I'm quite used to having to go against the stream or to work pretty hard, I'm quite willing to 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 do that. So, you know, I know that you know with my own business and whatnot, you know, having your own business can be tough. You know, it, you know, you'll you'll know Mike. You know, uh, you know, it's it can be it can be difficult at times, mm-hmm. but that is part of what makes me tenacious is having to keep fighting, you know, for, for those kind of things and learning how to do it. So mm. I wouldn't change it. 